We are back here. It is halftime. Al DeMarco along with Steve Boone. And this is the segment of the show we like to talk a little betting strategy and, of course, talk about some of our personal best bets. And today we're going to delve into NFL futures. Now, we discussed this a few weeks ago, but as I alluded to earlier in the show, you know, future plays, then the odds are constantly changing and our perspective on them are constantly changing as well because it is all affected by what's going on on the field. So first, Steve, let's take a look at some of the odds to win the NFC. You know, um, the Vikings, of course, and the Saints, the odds on favorite, they are both still plus money, however, plus $1.40. But not nearly as good at the plus money as when we talked about this three weeks ago. Right. Well, you look at plus 140 on the Saints and you say to yourself, that's a favorite. But, you know, the Saints are going to be in a position come the end of the year where they're going to be, you know, five, six, eight, nine point favorites. It's nice to have a little plus 140 action on them if you can. The one that sticks out are the Cowboys. You know, you're, you're, you know, you're very good on and against the Cowboys. You're a good judge of this. But I think at plus 800, the Cowboys, if they happen to catch their stride and are playing their best ball at the end of the year, they can win the NFC. But here's the thing with the Cowboys, though. This was not nearly as good of a number before they lost to the Green Bay Packers. So this number is actually inflated. A number that has come down is the Arizona Cardinals, now plus 500. Now that the Cardinals are on a nice little roll, this number is not nearly as lucrative if you had taken a waiver on them a few weeks back. So what you have to consider a lot of time with NFL futures is you've got to be a market timer. We always say you never market time when you're jumping on our picks. Correct. Because if you're a bandwagon jumper, you're not going to win. You've got to make a commitment to a handicapper and ride out his consistency. Because if we knew which plays were going to win and lose, we wouldn't release the losers. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Now, over in the AFC, of course, this is a big surprise. Prize. The Colts still plus money, but only at $1.40. And let's face it, it's because they came back with that fantastic win on Sunday night against the Patriots. I didn't think they could beat the Patriots. I thought the Colts were a fake. They hadn't really played anybody. Now, obviously, they're for real. And what happens to the Patriots? Because they lose that game, suddenly the Patriots go to 275. I guarantee you, if New England, who had dominated the first three quarters of that game, had won the game or won the game by 10 points or more, New England is not a 275 favorite in the futures here. I think New England would probably be down in the 150, 140 range, much like the Colts, because you then knocked off the Colts from the ranks of the unbeaten, and suddenly the Patriots are back. And you know how the public just jumps on that type of stuff. Well, I think New England's defense was exposed a little bit against the Colts. You know, everyone always thinks Belichick, defensive strategist, defensive specialist. But when he chose to go on offense instead of face Peyton Manning on defense, you had to say to yourself, well, maybe this is not the old New England Patriots. You know, the other ones here, the Bengals, because they knocked off the uh Big the game. Steelers. I had that game. That was hey, we big. both had that one. Right. Yes, as a matter of fact, here, uh, I, I'll tell you what, Cincinnati is now plus 400. You know, three weeks ago, you could have had the Bengals at plus 800. And you look at their favorable schedule. They play three cupcakes the next three weeks. So they could really make some progress. But you have to wonder if Cedric Benson is healthy. But at plus, eight, plus 400, still a good play. And the biggest surprise, the Steelers lose again to the Bengals, and suddenly... They're now plus 600. And I like the Steelers at plus 600. I love them. You know what I mean? I, I don't think they – I mean, they obviously had a bad week against the Bengals, but they're, they're, they're the defending champions. They know how to bounce back. They can hit their stride still. There's plenty of season left for them. The Chargers – they're not going to be anywhere near no, it. you no. got to have defense to win, and they've got no defense. That's throwaway money. You know, I look at the Steelers. It's kind of like boxing, to use the analogy. When you're the champion, you got to knock them out and to get them out. You don't win it on the TKO. you got to get the KO. And, frankly, in the AFC, and if I'm taking money right now, I'm doing the Steelers a plus the 600. And over in the NFC, I know the Saints are unbeaten. But I'm sorry. I still look at Brett Favre and the Vikings, and I'm going, I'd rather have my money over I there. I like the Vikings, too. 40. They're a fun team to watch, the kind of team you want to root for. Okay, guys, listen, we are going to look at the Super Bowl odds here in just a moment, but I know where we are going to be come Super Bowl time in Vegas. That's for sure. We'll be at, right at the Golden Nugget at the pool when everyone else is freezing. It'll be about 95 degrees. We'll be sitting there with the nice little dealers that wear the bikinis out at the pool and, you know, splitting aces and doubling down all day long. And let's talk about the uh, contest that we're running in conjunction with the uh, Golden Nuggets. Right, sure. So you go to our website and you see there, you fill out the contest, you can win a free VIP weekend. Any weekend that's good for you, you get a free uh, high roller suite, tickets to the Gordy Brown Show, limo service back and forth when you check in. You go right to the VIP, forget standing on lines, and you do Vegas the way I do it, the way my dad did it, and the way his dad did it. And this is the best part about the contest, guys. At our site, 
No purchase is necessary. So if you want to roll like a high roller, do it the way Steve does, the way I do it. As a matter of fact, hey, we're probably there every weekend anyway. You'll probably get to hang with us. All you've got to do is go right now to the site, enter for free. We're giving one free winner, one free package, all expenses paid package for free away every single month in connection with the Golden Nuggets. So what do you got to lose, guys? This is the best contest you're ever going to enter. And if you do want to party with us, January 8th to the 11th, we're having our Pick Nation party right there. And you can come down and be a part of it and hang with us, bet with us, watch the games with us experience the uh, the thrill of victory or possibly the agony of defeat. It does happen sometimes, but that's why they call it Vegas, guys. All the information right here at the top of the website. Now, let's talk about the Super Bowl. Uh, the odds to win the Super Bowl, the Colts plus 300, the Saints and the Vikings plus 400, the Patriots plus 600. And let me just give you a couple more before we talk about them that I thought were interesting. The Bengals now still part of the conversation, right? We've got to consider them. Plus 900, the one that shocks the heck out of me. The Steelers, plus 1,200, and the Cowboys, plus 2,000. When you bet the Steelers at plus 1,200, you really just want them to make it to the Super Bowl because exactly. then you got that hedge opportunity going both ways. And, and, ex the and explain what you mean. I know what you mean, but right. explain to the gambler out there what you're talking about as a bookmaker. So when the Steelers are in the Super Bowl and they're the favorite, and you're taking plus 12 to 1 on them, the other side you're going to be able to take plus money on as well. So let's say you got $1,000 at plus 12 to 1, and you stand to win 12000 with the Steelers. If the comeback on the other side is plus 5 to 1, you throw the same 1000 on that side. Now, you can't lose. You're either going to win 5000 or win 12000 And as a better... We just don't get to be in that position ever. And that's why they call it futures, guys. you got to take your shot looking at the odds. And right now, you've got the Steelers at this great price because they just lost and everybody's down on them. When they beat the Vikings a couple of weeks ago before their bye week at home, this was not the price you were getting them. I think the Steelers then were like plus 800. This is a great, great price at the bank of the Steelers. Now, I don't think the Bengals are going to get to the Super Bowl, let no alone way. win it. That's throwaway money. Patriots? I don't think they're going to get there either. You know, I look at the Colts, though. I, I don't personally believe the Colts are going to get there. I do think the Vikings are going to get there. Now, again, I just said I think they're going to win the NFC at plus 140. Now, to win the Super Bowl, can the Vikings win the Super Bowl? I don't know, but I'm just like you. At plus 400, they just I need to get there. Just get there, and then let me play with the numbers once they get there. Put me in the position to win some extra money. 100%. Now, odds to win the MVP. You know, what I think that people don't realize here is that it's not just you're looking at the odds. You have to look at the media attention and what goes into the balloting for this. So you've got Drew Brees. Everybody's talking about Drew Brees. Have you noticed a lot of hype about Drew Brees lately because of the way the Saints have been playing? I mean, they've really been slumping here, even though they've won, but they haven't won in convincing fashion the last few weeks. He is still the odds-on favorite at plus $1.25. But Peyton Manning plus... That's who I love. You love Peyton Manning. I think he's the MVP. Uh, you know, other than Brett Favre, who I think has a great chance too. You know, Peyton Manning's a pro. He's been there. You'll love to see a guy get back in form. You know, he had stepped down a little bit to his brother. His brother had won the Super Bowl a few years back. He was the big dog on campus. But now Peyton comes back, shows everybody who's boss. You know, I really like him. I like plus 250 with Peyton Manning. Okay, Tom Brady's plus 300. The guy I like, though, still is Brett Favre plus 500 because I, I say – that Favre is going to garner more media attention as the season winds down. And when I look at the Vikings' schedule and I see a team that has a chance maybe to run the rest of the table or maybe just lose one more game, Favre is going to get more attention than Drew Brees. And Peyton Manning, I, I look at this team and I see what they're great doing. Unless they run the table and have an undefeated season, I think Favre could sneak away. And once again, a plus 500 – I'm making a small wager. This isn't like what I'm betting as my best bet this weekend. This is extra money I'm making for fun. <laughs> and, and you don't always have to make it to the Super Bowl to win the MVP, but if the Vikings make it to the Super Bowl, Peter, you know, Adrian Peterson, he's not going to win the MVP. It's going to be Favre because they had him last year. They didn't have Favre last year. Now all of a sudden they have him and they can make it to the Super Bowl. That's your most valuable player. So these are some of the things you have to consider with futures. Listen, not all futures. Some futures are sucker plays, but I think these are the type of ones that you look at and when you look for making money. Guys, listen, we're going to be returning here after a short break. We've got two more games to break down. Buccaneers, Saints, and the Bears-Eagles. We'll be back in just a moment. <laughs> 